This segment with Ashley Hodge of Sikkim365.com and 365 Sports, brought to you by Richard Carr Motors, the Baylor Bear Hotline, as we discuss Baylor and really the rest of the Big 12 as the tournament starts here in a day or two in Kansas City. Ashley, thanks for your time as always. How many teams in the Big 12, nine look like they'll get in, but of those nine, how many of them are schizophrenic or um, bipolar in a way like Baylor can be, like Texas can be, and like a couple of other teams can be? Yeah, I would say that, you know, probably you could probably put seven of those nine in that category. The league is so good that um, the only consistent teams this year in league play have been Iowa State and Houston. And then Iowa State, you know, drops a game against Kansas State, a game that they were expecting to win uh, for their season finale in, in, non- in, in conference play. Houston's been the only really consistent team from start to finish. Uh, you know, Kansas uh, miraculously went 15 and one at home, but uh, I think they were like three and seven on the road or something like that. I mean, it wasn't wasn't a great uh, road record for the Jayhawks. Uh, so I, I think all the teams have proven that they're vulnerable against the right opponent. Uh, Houston is is the one that looks obviously like they have a uh, you know a real good shot at making the Final Four. Actually, uh, at this point for Baylor, is it less about the seed, which is probably a three, and more about the draw that they get? Yeah, I would agree with that. I, I still think there's a possibility that they'll get a two seed. They they would have been in the driver's seat for that if they had beaten Texas Tech in Lubbock. But, I mean, you look at their resume, miraculously outside of the big three at the top of the rankings, Houston, Purdue, and UConn, who all have uh, 11 plus uh, quad one wins and only three quad one losses and, and no losses outside of uh, quad one. Baylor's resume stacks up really well. They're, they have the fourth most quad one wins with nine. You know, I'm just looking at their non conference schedule. It looks like six of the teams they played in the non conference might make the tournament. Cornell's the one that's uh, kind of on the fence, but, you know, Seton Hall, Auburn. Duke, Michigan State, um, Florida are all uh, tournament teams, and and they beat uh, you know three of those teams, and and you know maybe if Cornell makes it, that's a fourth. So I, I think their resume stacks up really well. You look at you know Iowa State and Texas Tech and and Texas and TCU, they have pretty thin non conference resumes. Um, obviously, you're competing uh, maybe only against Iowa State for a two seed, but. Uh, that Iowa State Baylor game may may be a, a pivotal game to determine who gets a two seed in, in the tournament. They got to put somebody on that line, and and uh, outside of those three that I mentioned earlier, UConn, Purdue, and Houston, no one's really separating themselves uh, from the rest of the pack. Ashley, I think everybody knew that this wasn't going to be exactly like football as far as the new teams coming in and having maybe a little bit of a struggle early on. We knew Houston was going to be good. It was just a matter of how good would they be. And they've been building and building for years, just you know, three years ago, meeting Baylor in the Final Four, and, and Baylor wins the title. But uh, how surprised or, or maybe what has stood out to you about Houston this season, first year in the Big 12? Well, they have the best point guard in the nation by, by, by a wide <laughs> stretch. I mean, yeah. that, that helps. I mean, we saw that with Baylor when Baylor had Davion Mitchell. Mm-hmm. They have a Davion Mitchell-like point guard. And uh, when you got a guy that can just lock up the other team's best player and can make plays down the stretch and, you know, can really make everyone on his team better, that's a huge advantage. You know, obviously, Criers played well for them, Roberts, um, They've got some other dudes. Uh, they got a lot of, you know, they got a great team, but uh, they, you know, having the best point guard in the nation is a good start. So, um, Ashley, the tournament is about to begin in Kansas City. There's nobody unless they like Oklahoma State or West Virginia shocked the world. Who would be the first team out of the Big 12? Oh, as far as, well, I think Kansas State um, right. is, is in. They're a already, perilous po- yeah. position. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they'll have to at least make the final, I would think. Um, yeah. Oklahoma did some good work in the non conference. So I, I think they're, you know, probably in the field. You know, TCU's one that, that's got to be a little nervous. You, you wouldn't want to lose your first game if you're TCU. Uh, so, so the loser of that Oklahoma TCU game might be feeling a little bit nervous uh, come selection Sunday. Cincinnati's a team that's interesting to me. You know, they're they're um, 
I just think, you know, they're probably going to beat Kansas. If, if you don't have Hunter Dickinson and McCuller, uh, you know, if they're able to beat West Virginia and then, you know, beat Kansas and then, you know, Baylor, that's a, that's a tough matchup for Baylor. Uh, they're, they're, they're gritty, you know, so if they're able to make a run and, you know, maybe get to the final, then maybe there's uh, a better case for them. But, but I, but I think for the most part, you know, you're looking at, uh, you know, Kansas State's the one that you, you want to watch, uh, you know, as far as having a chance to make the get in the field. Ashley, do you think Baylor's season is much different if LJ Cryer doesn't leave? No, I, I don't. I, I, I mean, LJ is a great player, mm-hmm. um, one of the best shooters in the country. But I mean, if you're looking at, you know, Jaden Nunn or, or LJ Cryer, I don't see a whole lot of difference between them. I, I, I think Jaden Nunn plays a little bit better defense. Um, LJ is probably a little more consistent on the offensive end. What makes LJ so good is, is having Jamal Shedd, you know, take all the, the, the ball pressure. If Jamal Shedd gets injured tomorrow and LJ Cryer has to run point, I don't think Houston's going to feel good about their, their chances to, to advance far in the tournament. Um, you know, I think, I think, uh, Baylor, you know, it's a wash. Uh, and, and I think obviously Jaden Nunn probably is better for the future. So, um, I'm, I'm okay with that trade off. Jacoby Walter, freshman of the year. Ashley, a lot of hype for him coming in, and he's been a joy to watch. But just your perspective on seeing a full regular season from him, what you hope to see uh, moving forward as well? Yeah, hopefully he and Eve take a big step up in the tournament and uh, we can get Langston Love back in the groove. I, you know, I think Scott said this in the post game with Texas Tech, and I believe it's true. You know, it, I think it was great for Baylor that, El, uh, that Langston got a game under his belt against Texas Tech, and then we'll get another one, at least one in the Big 12 tournament, hopefully multiple games, because uh, you want to get him back in the in the rhythm, in the flow. And I think, you know, other teams that have had players returning from injury, like the uh, Washington for Texas Tech, uh, that's going to be a challenge. Uh, so to answer your question, you know, Jacoby's the type of player that once you get out of the uh, – physicality of the big 12 i i think there's been a track record of referees calling it tighter in the ncaa tournament than that what they allow in the big 12 and the big 10 and uh if they if they follow that you know trend i think jacoby's gonna have a lot more freedom and and not you know be as uh physically at, at a disadvantage like a lot, a lot of freshmen are and will really have a chance to shine in the big dance and i think eve will be the same way um, those two are athletic and they're, you know, they play super hard and they, they play with a great motor. I, I think you can't ask more from freshmen than what they gave you this year. Ashley, what are your thoughts about Rodney Terry last year? You know, I mean, took over a bad situation, <laughs> took him to the elite eight. They were really good by the end and, and they were, they're dynamic at times this year. And then all of a sudden the Baylor in the second half and other teams really good in Lubbock started out well against Oklahoma but they, they are like a lot of teams. They seem to have these ups and downs. Do you think there's any question he'll be back for their first year in the SEC? I think he'll be back because um, I think they're going to make the tournament and it would be probably hard to fire him. You know, they got Trey Johnson coming in, so they got a, you know, premier uh, five-star freshman that's going to that's gonna be coming in for them. Although, you know, I, I do, I mean, I'll say this, I've never seen a guy care about what other people think more than, yeah. <laughs> more than that guy. Yeah. I mean, he's kind of gotten a reputation for being a whiner, um, you know, after the Baylor game, complaining about the officiating after they, what did they foul Baylor 15 times in the last two minutes? I mean, it, you know, it was lopsided because of that. I don't know. I think, I think he's, uh, you know, definitely not made any friends with some of his, uh, uh, whining behind the scenes that maybe not maybe people don't know as much about you know like the incident coming to Waco last year and then and then also uh his you know complaining about UCF and and the, the downwards horns and you know just some things that have probably uh not endeared him to other coaches and other people in the league but you know what matters most is the alumni and the fans at Texas and I think they're kind of lukewarm on him. We'll, we'll see how he does next year, but I think we'll get another year. All right, man. Thank you for your time, Ashley. We appreciate it. Ashley Hodge, segment brought to you by Richard Carr Motors, Baylor Bear Hotline here on 365 Sports.